it's interesting to think of architecture as a collaboration of a million components. Buildings aren't single objects. They're collections of millions of components that appear as if they're single objects. I'm Mark Gage. I'm an architect here at Gage Clemenceau Architects. I'm also the assistant dean at the Yale School of Architecture, and I write books on occasion. I think one of the most interesting things about our office is that my business partner, Mark Bailey, and I both have a real classical background in architecture. We both went to Notre Dame. I actually had a professor when I asked, hey, is the computer going to be used in architecture at all? And he said, I have a computer and I have my printer. And he held up a pencil. And that's when I knew I, I wasn't getting the full side of the story. In the beginning of our practice, we were very much part of the generation it was getting noticed for building shapes that were uncommonly complex, things you could only do in the computer. I think that collaborative culture is the really the future of the architecture profession. We had done a collaboration with Nicola Formichetti. We wanted to fuse architecture and fashion into a single surface. So we did this installation that these mirrors were all designed to reflect the image of certain things in a certain way. It wasn't reflecting anything, it had no color, had no qualities. Until you placed in Lady Gaga's dress that Nicola had designed and I had worked with him on that was part of her Viva Glam and MAC Cosmetics campaign. Because the dress is pink, all of the reflections calibrated and the entire room became pink. When Intel and W Hotels approached us to be part of this Four Stories film series, they asked us to create an inspiring and unforgettable installation with the Ultrabook at the heart of it and we're placing these installations in lobbies of W Hotels around the world. I kind of took a look at the Ultrabooks and realized it may be easy to do a podium or something where these things sit, or an object in which these things existed, but really our interest in what we do with technology is we make environments. Architecture 15 years ago had a really tight relationship with the film industry because the computer ended up producing a lot of software programs for film. It also produced a lot of software programs for architecture. We came up with the idea of doing some sort of really small installation that was still something you could go inside, some sort of a micro-environment. The installations will feel cinematic as a showcase for the four stories and will have a real emphasis on narrative. The installations are called aqueous masses. I kind of have this theory that there's really only so many things on Earth. There's things in the mineral family, the botanical family, the biological families. The design of the installation really fuses all three. We have a kind of crystalline, jagged aspect to it, which is made when you cut these hexagons. But the hexagons themselves have this almost, you know, beehive, biological, surface-like quality. And then the surface that we cut out of the hexagons is this really voluptuous surface. And then those are all going to be exaggerated in different ways through color and lighting and effects. But we're trying to say that the computer can fuse with architecture to do more than just have a computer in a room, but the computer can actually become the room. The room can become the computer. That so we want to break down this distinction between the two and allow for a new type of creative environment where it's not just us being creative and installing this thing, but the very way you move through it is going to create different lighting effects and sound effects, which are going to allow the user to be creative, which is ultimately what the Ultrabook is for. What I would like people to take away from this experience is that there's a future coming in architecture that's more interactive, that's more saturated, that's less about a single moment than about an ongoing experience. It's about moving people's preconceptions away from an idea about a static object to an idea about a space that we really inhabit.